I did not learn about leadership in business school. I learned about leadership when I was 18 years old and first introduced to the United States Marine Corps, where leadership is not taught by a favored professor in a three credit hour course. It is taught by every officer and every NCO and every minute and every hour of every day, in every action, every word, every deed, and every circumstance. And in that experience, you are immersed in a culture of excellence that is built on a foundation of virtue and value. Those words were spoken by Robert J. Stevens, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Lockheed Martin and United States Marine Corps veteran. My name is Jacob Weesey, and today I will be talking to you about management principles applied to the military. Every member of the United States military understands the basics of leadership and the important role that it plays in successful military operations. What many may not understand is the influence that civilian management principles have had on how leadership is taught within the military. Today, I will be covering three of Henri Fayol's 14 management principles and comparing them to principles that are taught in the military. Henri Fayol was a French industrialist who in 1906 wrote a book titled Industrial and General Administration. In his book he laid out 14 management principles that are still being used today. For this he has been called the father of modern management. Today we will look at three of those principles beginning with his second principle authority and responsibility. For managers Authority is the right to give orders based on their position within the organization. If a manager has the authority, he also has the responsibility for those orders. Therefore, authority and responsibility are two sides of the same coin. Authority and responsibility are used very similar within the military. According to FM 6-22 Army Leadership, Military leaders are charged with the leadership, authority, responsibility, and accountability for effectively use, using available resources. Also, shared leadership within the U.S. Army involves sharing authority and responsibility for decision-making, planning, and execution. In business and in the military, you may delegate a task, but you may never delegate the responsibility for that task. Next, we move on to Fayol's third management principle, discipline. Fayol defined discipline as sincerity, obedience, respect of authority, and observance of the rules and regulations of the enterprise. However, discipline in the organization is not only for subordinates, but is also required of management. Discipline is characterized by good conduct and faithful interactions between co-workers and having faith in the policies and programs of the business enterprise. It has been proven that a well-disciplined working force is essential for improving the quality and quantity of the production. Discipline is also a hallmark of the United States Marine Corps. Every recruit who steps on the yellow footprints of Paris Island, South Carolina, or San Diego, California, quickly learns that discipline is at the core of what makes a Marine. Discipline, as defined by the Marine Corps, has a more rigid definition than FAO, and is defined as instant and willing obedience, lawful orders. But the two definitions have similar characteristics. Discipline does ensure good conduct, and ensures respectful interactions among troops. The final management principle that Fayol puts forth is esprit de corps. Fayol emphasizes the need for building and maintaining a harmony among the workforce, characterized by teamwork and sound interpersonal relationships. Along with these, it is imperative for management to develop morale within the workforce, which in turn increases productivity. It is used similarly within the military where esprit de corps can be characterized as a feeling of confidence and comradeship. It is the spirit that motivates Marines to take care of their own and it fosters a feeling of mutual respect among Marines. In matters of life and death, 
It is the spirit that will push a Marine above and beyond in order not to let down the Marine to their left or their right. In closing, I would like to quote a document called Leading Marines. It's not only applicable to the military, but also to business. If effective leadership is evident and functioning, we are strong and ready. If we are well disciplined, of high morale, possess an unquenchable unit spirit, and are efficient, we are the best in business. Thank you.